Hello, and welcome to this presentation of the STM32L4's Full Speed On The Go, or OTG, USB device interface. It covers the features of this IP, which is widely used to connect either a PC or a USB device to the microcontroller. This slide explains the range of USB interfaces within the STM32L4 product line. As shown, this presentation describes the Full Speed On The Go, or OTG, USB device interface supported in STM32L49X, 4AX, and STM32L47X, 4AX devices. All devices with the FS OTG USB device interface can operate with a low-frequency crystal oscillator. STM32L496-4A6 devices also allow a USB device to be implemented without a crystal oscillator. This figure shows the simplest connections between an STM32L4 microcontroller and a USB connector in a peripheral configuration. The STM32L4 features a full-speed USB communication interface, allowing the microcontroller to communicate typically with a PC or a USB storage device. The simplest implementation is a USB peripheral device, but the STM32L4 also supports on-the-go USB functions. The USB implementation includes low power features allowing the use of a low-speed crystal oscillator, on-the-go host or device functions, and a battery charger detection allowing more efficient charging possibilities. This slide summarizes the key features of this full-speed OTG USB device interface, which is a USB specification 2.0 compliant interface operating at a bit rate of 12 megabits per second. In the simplest form, a full-speed USB device can be implemented. Low-frequency crystal operation is possible and STM32L496-4A6 devices can work crystalless. Its built-in support for link power management adds enhanced power modes on top of the USB 2.0 specification. In addition, the on-the-go or OTG function enables the implementation of an OTG product or an embedded host, both of which have the capacity to behave as a targeted host. The battery charger detection feature allows for increased current up to 1.5 amps to be drawn from BC 1.2 compliant chargers. In this block diagram, the full-speed OTG USB controller core is shown in the center with its data FIFOs below. The physical layer, or PHI, on its right side handles the analog signal levels, including many specific level detections relating to OTG and battery charger detection functions. The USB interrupt goes to the Cortex processor to signal various USB events. The AHB peripheral bus enables read-write access of the controller registers and the power and clock control block. Several related peripherals work in conjunction with the USB device controller to link the USB activity to the system power mode and software requirements. The clock recovery system allows operation without an external crystal oscillator, using the integrated HSI oscillator as the main clock source. The interrupt events are sent to the non-vectored interrupt controller via a single line. The system events can cause the system to wake up from stop mode, for example, at the moment we resume from USB suspend mode. At any given time, one of the two operating modes will be in operation. Peripheral mode, used for a regular device or an OTG device. Or targeted host mode, used for an embedded host or an OTG device. Interrupts from this USB block can be triggered by a large number of events or state changes. This slide and the following three slides show all the events that can generate an interrupt. As can be seen, these interrupt sources are diverse. They range from events related to low power management and OTG to events related to normal host behavior and regular USB reset and disconnect events. Note in slide, reset detected. In device mode, 
This interrupt is asserted when a reset is detected on the USB in partial power down mode when the device is in suspend mode. In this second slide showing interrupts, another diverse set of sources is described. In this third slide describing interrupt sources, many suspend, OTG functions, and FIFO status events are listed, as well as a general register access error. The USB peripheral is fully active in run mode. After a suspend event, sleep mode and stop zero and one modes are available and the contents of its registers are kept. Stop two and standby modes should not be used. Within the USB mode, dedicated bits are implemented to provide some debug functions for USB applications. They relate to FIFO status and contents and the scheduling of periodic queues in host mode. Additional details of these debug bits are listed in this table. Here is an application example of a low-power device. Power is drawn directly from the USB VBUS signal. A single low-speed crystal oscillator at 32.768 kHz is needed outside. A scheme is implemented inside the microcontroller using this low-speed crystal oscillator to trim the internal 48 MHz oscillator, thus giving the required frequency accuracy to comply with the USB specification. Here is a second application example showing a battery-powered OTG solution. The STM32L4 controls a power switch supplying VBUS to the receptacle and monitors for faults on the supply. In this example, a regular crystal oscillator should be used. Should dead battery support be required, VBUS should be connected to the STM32L4 via a resistor divider. For complete USB specification documents, please refer to USB.org. The USB 2.0 document homepage has a zip file containing the USB 2.0 and OTG 2.0 specifications and an ECN for LPM. The USB device class documents page has the battery charger specification. Additional information can also be found in these application notes.